Lord Nat. These public records. And of course, Tyler went off and married Tatiana. I'm sure that's who he chose to marry as, as opposed to Jennifer. And I'm wondering all these years, these 13 years, did Jennifer hold it over his head? So did she kind of play keep away with Maddie all these years by only letting her visit her bio dad and stepmom only sometimes? It feels like that's what's being alluded to. Once we get deeper, and I'm sure once we see more interviews, once we see more raw body cam interviews, interrogations, and everyone spilling the beans, we'll get to see what happened here. And that can be a lesson to me for any parent even if it's a shout out to true crime investigates anthony greeno by the way you hear that manly voice on my show the intro and outro greeno did the intro and outro and he does all of my stuff he did my background all the graphics all the cool stuff that everyone always says um hey i like your intro and i like your setup greeno did it so i see you too and i hope you can help me work on a new intro and outro and some new uh, background stuff and uh, walk me through some other stuff, stuff. The rocky start in terms of co-parenting or whoever you feel is not doing what, no child should be kept away from a person out of spite. If a person yeah, is harmful, yeah. of course, they should be kept away from that parent or boyfriend. Isn't it ironic? If Jennifer did keep Maddie away from Tyler, he out of spite, out justice. of anger, out of jealousy of his wife or whatever was going on there, that's totally wrong. And how ironic that situation would be if she kept Maddie away from them in Texas. But And I agree with that. And I can't wait to hear what she's about to say because I get those comments too. And I'm like, man, this guy... Tyler Wallace and Tatiana lost this beautiful angel that they only got to see at certain points, not by their own doing. And people say mean stuff like that. Like, say it, vent it out loud at your house, but why comment? I don't, I, I just delete them, folks. So if you guys are going to waste your time writing that stuff or for the rewatch crew or whatever, it's just going to get deleted. I'm not going to let that. Ugh, I've had bad comments about a lot of. Ugh, I'm not even going to get into that. But just It's going to get deleted. It's like, oh, where's she coming from? She's just the sister-in-law. You know, she's just Tatiana's sister. She's Tyler's sister-in-law. She's not even like Tyler's sister. And that doesn't mean she didn't love Maddie. I don't know how much time she got to spend around Maddie. I saw when Maddie went missing, she was putting out a lot on Facebook. And it doesn't mean she didn't have love for the girl. Oh. Some people are just saying, oh, she wants her 15 minutes of fame. And they all failed Maddie. And I don't really know. I'm just trying to look deeper into the situation because... From the words that are kind of being said, it kind of sounds like there's a much deeper story. And I hope the rest of those interviews are aired. I don't know who put the kibosh on that. I don't think I missed them because I was looking and looking and looking. No, you didn't miss them and they didn't come out. And there is a way deeper story that's not called drama. It's called part of the story and what happened. And the reason that we haven't talked to the current roommates is because they're part of the investigation, folks. So we can't. I don't want to reach out to them and hinder anything at all. Thank you, Valerie Veramonte. Thank you. Thank you for your dedication being here. I see you all the time. I appreciate your super chat. I always get them confused. Super chat, super sticker. Thank you. All right. You guys are all, everybody's being really nice tonight. Thank you. Again, you don't have to, but it's much appreciated and helpful and looking so long at WFTV News as I still get their alerts coming through right now from their app. I love their app. I kept looking to see where's the rest of the interviews. If I can find any more new stuff, I will put it in here somewhere. And how, you know, any parent, if they're recognizing the same type of ire against their own child, you know, if they're looking at their child like, oh, you remind me of your father and just get out of here. And almost as if it were punishment, she's saying, I'm going to send you off to live with your father. Well, yeah, that would have been fine. You don't do it out of anger. You do it because you care as a co-parent. Let me give you your equal amount of time. I could go on and on and all the child support issues. I don't know what that's about. Sometimes money is tight. Who knows? It's sad it couldn't have worked out.